Hi guys, in this Docker tutorial, we have discussed about Docker image, where we learned about how to create custom images with the help of Docker file. In this video, we are going to learn about namespace and then we will learn how to push our custom images under our own namespace. So, so far we were using official images for our purpose, but now we are going to push our own images and then after we will pull them back from our own namespace and use them. So let's understand what is namespace in terms of Docker. So let's go to whiteboard. Namespace is just like an individual region or section or an area or a portion where things lie in that portion belongs to that individual. For example, if we consider if there are four namespace, let's say A, B, C and D. So if we segregate like this and here if I am going to create an image with like this A, this is the namespace and we are mentioning like Alpine and then we are providing some tag like let's say 29.0. So in this case, this Alpine, this repository, this repository will be created inside this name, inside the A namespace. So it would be like it comes here Alpine. Let's say take an another example. If I'm going to create an image from my Docker file and naming it is like C like this. So in this case, this repository belongs to C namespace because I have mentioned the C as namespace. So this will come here as my Linux. So I hope it is clear here. This is the namespace. And this one is the repository name. This is repository name and this is tag. So we learned about namespace, repository and tag. Now let's move to the docker hub website where we will see like how these repositories work so now i'm going to take you guys to the sign up page of docker hub so this is the sign up page landing page of hub.docker.com where you need to sign up with your account you need to provide a username email id and password and you need to accept the agreement so whatever the username you will provide a namespace will be created with that username. For example, I have already created an account with the namespace which is Teki Kumar. So now for me, the namespace is Teki Kumar. If I want to push something in this namespace, I have to follow the same pattern that was discussed on the whiteboard. So let's see under the repositories, there are no repositories post yet. So there are two ways to push repositories in this place one either you create a repository from this website and then you follow the process to push your images for that repository another one you can go to your command line and you can push images with specifying the repository name if that repository does not exist in the docker hub it will be created for you so let's see how it is working so on the command line I'm going to create an image and I will push it. So in the previous videos, we have been following this Docker file for our testing purpose. So as of now, I'm going to create an image from this Docker file and I will push that to my namespace. So let's see, is there any image already existing? So there is no image in my system as of now. So let's build that. So here we need to be very uh, careful while providing the namespace and the repository name. So as of now, for me, the namespace is Teki Kumar and this would be the repository name. I'm going to create an image from the Alpine baseline. So the standard would be you should include that image name as well. So it will make a reference. So I'll make it like Alpine and then we'll provide the tag name as well. So if I'm going to provide the tag name as, let's say it's for dev, okay. And then we'll provide the file name 
alpine and then the current directed location if you are not understanding why we are using hyphen f please watch my another video which is there in the uh, description section and you can find it also through the uh, playlist and please watch that video and then come back to this section good so as of now i have one image built so let's verify that docker image ls so now the repository is namespace is techie kumar and alpine so now this is in my local system it is nowhere available on the internet if i have to share this image with this uh, with the team then i must have to put it to the central place that is called a repository so what we need to do as of now i am i am doing this practice on uh, docker hub repository not any private repository but maybe in your case in your company that would have a private repository then you have to specify the private repository local host and port as well while mentioning the namespace so in this case because i have not provided in this case it will take the docker io as an host name and it will consider that as a port as a 443 because it is https i have already logged in okay so now let's push this repository to the docker hub docker push and then we need to specify the repository name we must have to mention the tag as well because if we are not mentioning the tag in that case docker will consider the tag as a latest and we don't have any image with uh, tag name latest so it will throw an error so let's hit this good so now the image what i created from the docker file now it is available on docker hub now anyone from my team they can pull this image and they can start working on this image okay so let me show you how it is going to be look on the docker hub so i'm going to my repositories and here i'll do the refresh so you can see i have one repository created here let me go inside this and here we have created one tag dev okay if someone want to push it they have to use like this and if they want to pull it they have to use docker pull so let's let's push some different tags as well so i'm going to tag the existing image with a different name so we learned in this another video right docker image tagging in that video we learned about how to do image tagging so please go through that and then come back to this video then it will help you to understand docker image tag then the source is this we can mention dev and now we are going to create another one with a different uh, tag is uat docker image ls so now we are having two images having the same image id because i haven't modified anything in re real scenario definitely you will do some modification and then you will create a uh, different image images right and then you will mention them with a different tag so as of now for an example i have created uh, another tag for the same image id without any modification and now because this uat uh, a repository with the uat tag is not available in the uh, in the docker hub so now i want to push it if i click on tags there is only one tag available here right so let's push it so we'll do like docker we will just use this one instead of dev we will use uat so by default the address what it is taking is docker.io it's not mentioned the pro port number because it's https connection 443 and that's why and we are having the namespace name or username you can say or organization name and then the repository name now if i go here and refresh this page i would have one more tag available on this page so let's see if it's coming okay good so we are having one more tag that is how official images also looks like if i show you the official images of alpine you will find the same thing if you go under tags you will find all the tags with all the information right and if someone wants to pull pull this 
image they have to use this statement similarly if we come here it mentioned right if you want to pull this image with this tag we need to use this one so let's go and pull this image back docker image ls and what i do i will remove them docker image rm and i will mention the first three letters right 5 e 2 we are getting this error because we are having the same image id ref, uh, referring to different uh, uh, multiple repositories with a different tags right so that's why we are we, we need to use docker image rm space hyphen f now we don't have any image so now we are ready to pull an image from our namespace from techy kumar so let's go to the browser and if i want to pull uat just click here and paste it here now this is going to be pulled from my namespace okay so it says like it's already exists why because i didn't do the complete cleanup so if i do complete cleanup like docker system prone hyphen a so it will remove all the cast images okay so now i go here docker contain docker image ls so there is no image at all right so now let's do the same thing this time it will fetch it from the docker hub because there is nothing cached it fetched from the docker hub so that is what uh, about push and pull from your own repository and uh, from your own namespace i believe you might have a clear idea about the namespace this is not that much difficult as, as i already discussed right so namespaces are like a region or a, a portion or a section of the memory where uh, anything lies inside that memory belongs to that namespace okay and if you want to find out those things you have, must have to mention the namespace here we, if we are creating a, a repository with alpine under a namespace so whenever we want to push or pull we must have to provide the same nas namespace if we are if we are using another namespace in that case it would throw error similarly here as well if i try to pull something from different namespace so it may throw error or it may not because maybe some different namespace would have this alpine if if it does not exist in that case you will get the error saying that this does not exist so, so i hope it's clear for you guys to how to create your own repository and how to push that another way what i was discussing this we did it from the command line now we can do another thing as well we can create a repository and then we can push it to this repository let's say we can do like linux this is the repository name and i can mention like this is for testing purpose and i can do create if i have to push any image into this repository then i have to use this line so let's do that so as of now we have one image available in my system and if i want to tag it with a different name okay so let's tag it docker oh this is my mistake because while tagging it i didn't mention the existing tag name as i did mention then by default it is looking for latest it's complaining that there is no image with latest tag and here i have missed it right again i did the mistake it's not dev it's uat let's verify how many images we have now we have an image with techy kumar and the repository name is linux this time i have already created the repository from the website okay this repository i have already created now i am going to push it just copy this paste and here you need to mention the tag name so what is the tag name 21.o so if i hit enter this will be pushed under that repository what we have created from the website now let's go to the website and refresh this page good under this repository we are having an image tagged with 21.o so this is how we can you know create our own images push them 
under our own repositories under own namespace okay that's all about this video i hope it is uh, helpful for you guys if you really liked it please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching my video